order of operations, that's 24, and carry the one, 134. Alright, I think I'm ready for the test tomorrow. What's the next subject? Uh, not history. I'm terrible in that class. <sighs> no, no, I need to study. If I want to go to uni next year, I need to get as high of a grade as I can get. Even in classes, that has nothing to do with my future career prospects. That's the education system for you. As unchanging as a coelacanth. I just don't get it, you know? Why does the monster revolution have anything to do with being a marine biologist anyway? Why should I study this when I could focus on more relative fields? <sighs> Let's just get this over with. What's the first question? The Slime Rebellion of 1804. The leader was... Chief Huddy. <sighs> If it wasn't him, then it was... Oh! Or on you! You sure it wasn't him? Uh, then... Hmm. The only other slime I can think of is... Dex Call. What do you mean he's not a slime? What was he then? Oh, a mimic! I should have remembered that. You know what? I'll come back to this later. Next question, please. That orc tribe instigated a riot in... Smithsville? What do you mean, no? Okay, then it was... Harvest City? Wait, no. Orange Groove. Are you kidding me? How can both of them be wrong? Uh, let's just move on. Stupid history quizzes. I don't even know where to start with that one. Uh, the only thing that's coming to mind is pyrokinesis. Uh, of course, that's wrong. Nothing I think can be right, can it? I know this stuff. I I know I know these things. It's just... Why can't I remember? Like, I can memorize entire articles about random fish, yet I can't remember the most basic history facts. Why is my brain so... dumb? Yes, it is. I always try my best to remember this stuff, but I just... can't. No, it's not fine. Goldfish don't have three-second memory, but I feel like I do. <sighs> There it is again. All I can remember are RPG rules and stupid fish facts. Why can't I just be... normal? <sighs> Look, can you just... leave for five minutes? I need to calm myself down. Please? Um, hey, I'm ready to try studying again now. I'm sorry that I got so heated. I'm just really frustrated with these questions. I remember talking about them during class, but I can't remember the specifics. <sighs> I know I'm smart. That's why getting things wrong is so irritating. I should have no problems with these, but my stupid brain just won't work. Other subjects are so easy for me, so why is this one such an issue? That's the thing, all the other subjects relate to what I want to do in some way. Science has obvious relations to marine biology and the equipment I need to use. Language classes will help me write the research papers, math will help me do the calculations, but what will history help me with? I get that it's important and all, but I just can't find a way to fit it into my head. Well, of course I know some history. I mean, 
I could talk your ear off about why we have so many different names for lionfish. Oh yeah, there are tons. Lionfish, zebrafish, turkeyfish, zebra turkeyfish, firefish, butterfly cod, scorpion volatins, and many more variations. What do you mean? I get what you're saying, but how can I relate all these historical facts back to fish? Most of them have nothing to do with the sea. I mean, I can try. That. What was the last question you asked? What field of magic did Kianda Pyapot specialize in? Well, I know it's not pyrotechnics. The only school of magic I can relate to fish is hydrokinesis, but I know that's not correct. Hydrokinesis was pioneered by the legendary fisherman, Kosumi Tira. Think about eels? What? Okay, well, there are moray eels, garden eels, foghead, Fresh water? Hmm. Rice paddy eels? Fresh water mores? Electric eels? Wait! Kiendra Pyrod specializes in electrokinesis. I remember now. Yes! I got it! Although, fun fact electric eels aren't actually a species of eel. They are a type of knife fish. Alright, next question. The town where the Danube tribe instigated a rebellion. Oh, there's a species of salmon named after the tribe. And that species resides in the Huchen River. The towns along that river are Silt Cove. Angel Town, Sparrow Falls, and the town was Forjopolis. <laughs> two for two. Now, what was the first question again? The leader of the Slime Rebellion. Whew. Okay, how do fish play into this? Hmm. Well. Slime biology is very similar to that of sea jellies, both being mostly composed of water. Is there a jellyfish named after this guy? None that I can think of. Okay, where else can I go with this? Hmm. Jellyfish have been used to test medications developed for slimes. I know one of the first medications to be tested in this way was a type of sleep medication. And that research was conducted by Chafdar Medical Facility. His name was Ayanli Chafdar. Yes! I guess I really can relay everything back to fish, huh? Now give me a new question. I want to see if this really works. The first potion developed in a modern brewing style. Uh, oh, that's easy. It's the water breathing potion, right? <laughs> Next question. Hmm. I think. Oh, that's the Croc Plover organization. Well, I knew that because of the sea anomalies. They form symbiotic relationship with clownfish, and I remember that the organization was named after a, another symbiotic relationship in nature due to them advocating for positive human-monster relationships. Hey, thanks a lot for helping me. I never would have remembered all this stuff if you weren't here. You're right. I'm not dumb. I just need things really back to my special interests. That's when I can really shine. Um, I don't usually do this for people, but can I hold your hand? Thank you. 
<sighs> this is a weird feeling. <laughs> no, I'm not upset. I just don't do this often. And I only do this with the people I trust. Okay, that's enough. I don't think I'll ever be able to do that without getting a weird feeling in my teeth. Well, I'm glad you liked it. You deserve something nice for supporting me. Sorry that this is the best I can do. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Alright, let's keep going. I want to ace this test. That's... The magic propelled trebuchet.